Hello guys, this is another video of Draft Project. Recently, I noticed that my clutch reservoir fluid level gradually decreases. As you can see, there is a leak from the clutch master. This problem should be fixed as soon as possible, or else it would slowly damage the paint and deteriorate the chassis. So, in this video, I will show you how to fix it using a clutch repair kit. Here are the tools that you're gonna need. A breaker bar a 12mm socket, socket extensions, spanners, these are 12mm for the clutch master rod nut, a 10mm for the clutch line nut, and an 8mm for the slave cylinder to bleed the clutch system, a regular pliers and a long nose pliers. If you have a C-clip remover, then long nose pliers is no longer needed, a screwdriver to remove some dashboard panel, a brake fluid. Refer to your car's specification requirements whether you use DOT3 or DOT4. In this case, I will be using DOT3. An empty bottle and another one with a hole in the cap for bleeding purposes. I have already uploaded a bleeding tutorial for the Clutch Master. If you don't know how to do it, please check the link in the description below to watch that video. A multi-purpose grease, a small sandpaper, this will be used to smoothen the push rod of the clutch master. A clear tube or hose for bleeding, a cleaning solution and a toothbrush, a syringe for removing the old brake fluid, a rag for drying and cover, an eye protection or safety glasses, and a safety gloves. In this video, I did not use any gloves, but I highly recommend you to wear one since you will be handling brake fluid and just to be sure to prevent you from any injuries. And last but not the least, your Clutch Master Repair Kit. I bought this Clutch Repair Kit for about 600 pesos, which is half of the price of a whole assembly. If you are on a budget like me, then it is better to repair it using these Japanese-made Clutch Repair Kits rather than buying one of those cheap whole assembly replacements. There are Japanese replacements you can buy, but it costs from 1,200 to 2,000 pesos, which is quite expensive. So here's what's inside of a repair kit. The piston, outer cover, C-clip, and the lock for the push rod. That's everything you need to repair your clutch master. First, you need to remove the old fluid from your reservoir. Use your syringe and store the old fluid in an empty bottle. Next is to remove the two 10mm bolts. Grab any rag to cover a panel underneath the clutch master. This is to prevent the brake fluid from touching the paint. Slide the clip upward and detach the hose from the master housing. Gently twist the hose to remove it easily. See the remaining fluid coming out from the hose? Be careful not to spill it to some panels. Grab your 10mm spanner to loosen the clutch line nut. Next is to remove the two bolts that holds the clutch assembly. Use a 12mm socket with extension to remove the two knots. Then remove the pin that holds the pedal and the clutch master. Use the pliers to remove the color pin and gently push the pin outwards. It's hard to take a video inside, so I decided to take photos for you to see it clearly. Push the pedal to gain more space.
gently pull the clutch master. Now it's time to rebuild the clutch master. Carefully remove the gasket as you will reuse it. Grab your 12mm spanner and hold the adapter with the pliers to loosen the nut. Once loose, unscrew the adapter but let the nut remain in its position so that you won't be making any further adjustments. Remove the outer cover. Now if you don't have a C-clip remover, grab a long nose pliers to remove the C-clip. Tap the front housing to remove the piston. Before you remove the outer cover from the push rod, mark the rod with the masking tape. This is only a reminder to prevent any undesirable adjustments. Now that everything is here, time to inspect the piston. As you can see, the second seal teared off, causing a leak. Here is how the new piston looks like. Before installing the new parts, it's time to clean the housing. Grab a cleaning solution and a toothbrush. Make sure to clean it well. You don't want to have any dirt inside as this can ruin the piston seals. Rinse it properly and dry the inside wall thoroughly to prevent it from any rust buildup. Now that we have everything cleaned up, it's time to install the new parts. Before inserting the new piston, coat it with a new brake fluid. Also apply it in the inner walls of the housing. Gently insert the piston inside.
Once inserted, try to push it with your thumb to see if it is in place. Insert the lock washer to the push rod. But before installing that, smoothen the inner rod with the sandpaper. Remove any hard edges. Once done, grab your grease and put a light coat into the designated area. Insert the push rod and install the C-clip. Install the outer cover. Reuse the rubber gasket. Install the nut. Since I've already put a masking tape, I know where this nut should be placed. Install the adapter and tighten it snug. Put the clutch master back in its place. Screw the clutch line first before installing and tightening the knot inside. Otherwise, it will be difficult since you have to bend it a little bit to screw the clutch line. After that, install the two nuts that hold the master assembly. Tighten everything snug. Return the hose and slide the clip downwards to lock it in place. I forgot to mention that I used Teflon tape on the threads of the clutch light knot just to make sure that it is properly sealed. Install the two bolts that holds the reservoir. Don't forget to reinstall the pin inside the pedals. It is also a great idea to replace the lock pin with a proper one. I'll be reusing mine since I don't have the new ones, but I'll definitely replace it soon. The last step is to bleed your clutch, and I have already indicated the video in the description below. Please check it out! Once again, I hope you find this helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much and God bless.